Foreign Body in the Ear Classification Foreign bodies are classified into living and non-living. Living foreign bodies include maggots. Non-living foreign bodies are vegetable and non-vegetable. Vegetables include seeds, wood. Non-vegetable foreign body include beads, plastic, metal, paper. Now let's talk in little detail about non-living foreign bodies. The common ones seen in children are piece of paper or sponge, grain seeds like rice, wheat, maize, slate pencil, piece of chalk, or metallic ball bearings. An adult may present with a broken end of a matchstick used for scratching the ear or an overlooked cotton swab. Vegetable foreign bodies tend to swell up with time and get tightly impacted in the ear canal or may even separate. Methods of removing a foreign body include forceps or curate removal in case of paper, swab, or a piece of sponge, syringing in cases of seed grains and smooth objects, suction, microscopic removal with special instruments and impacted foreign bodies, postural approach. If the object is impacted in the deep meatus or enter the middle ear through the perforation, now let's talk about living foreign bodies. Flying or crawling insects like mosquitoes, beetles, cockroach, or an ant may enter the ear canal, which causes intense irritation and pain. No attempt should be made to catch them alive. First, the insect should be killed by instilling oil, spirit, or chloroform water. Once killed, the insect can be removed by any of the methods described above. Maggots Flies are attracted to the foul-smelling ear discharge from an infected ear and lay their eggs, which hatch out into larvae, maggots. Clinical features of living foreign body in the ear include severe pain with swelling around the ear and blood-stained discharge, perforation of the tympatic membrane. Treatment Chloroform eardrops kill the maggots, which are then removed by forceps.